Hi, I am Nikki Clements, and I used to make stuff like this. Today I'm starting a project that I've wanted to do for a while, and that is to take this keyboard and make it smaller. Stripping it down to just the arrow keys, control alt delete, tab, F12, and maybe a few other keys. Basically all the keys you would need to use and access the BIOS. Now BIOS stands for Basic Input Output System, and it's just a small amount of code stored directly on your computer's motherboard that essentially tells the computer what to do when you first turn it on. It identifies hardware you have connected, tests various system components to make sure everything's working, and then chooses how the computer should boot. Now, my computer is over 10 years old, and it still uses PS2 ports for the keyboard and mouse. So to access the BIOS, I actually have to have a PS2 keyboard connected. Now, ironically, there may be a way within the BIOS to set it to recognize a USB keyboard, but I haven't had any luck. So whenever I need to access the BIOS, I have to dig this thing out and plug it in. So instead of having that hassle, you know, maybe once or twice a year, I'm going to spend a bunch of time and effort to make a tiny keyboard that I can just leave plugged in. Now I said I've wanted to do this for a while, and the reason I'm starting today is actually because of a recent video by an Italian maker that I follow, Ruloff Maker on YouTube, where he made a custom keyboard controller for use with Premiere. Now the final project came out pretty cool and actually worked really well, but he ended up just using a keyboard PCB kit that he got off Amazon instead of sticking with his original plan of just using an old keyboard, which he gave up on after he concluded it would be too difficult to use. Now your basic $10 cheap keyboard just has a tiny little circuit board up in the corner with a bunch of pins on it. Let me crack this open and I'll show you. So this little thing is essentially all your keyboard really is. By connecting these pins in different combinations, you can create all the separate key presses that you need. So for example, if I connect, say, this pin to this pin, I get nine. I get five. Dash, zero, I and so on. Now when Ruloff realized this, he thought it would be too hard to just blindly figure out which combination of pins would give him the key presses he needed. Okay, theoretically this kind of circuit can be used, but I mean it's almost impossible because finding the combination for typing one single letter is like finding the combination of a safe. The thing is, the keyboard comes with the answer key, pun intended. And it's right here. Now, it's still a bit tedious, but all you really have to do is trace these lines back to the pins for each key you want to program. And by doing that, you can use a keyboard to make something like this. These are Mr. C's buttons. My younger brother is an elementary school teacher, and several years ago, I made him these buttons that he could use in his class as game show buzzers. His school has since upgraded to much fancier wireless devices, enough for the whole class, so he doesn't really need these anymore, but it was still a pretty cool project, so let's do a quick show and tell. So these are the buttons, and they're actually just dollar store pop lights that I gutted and converted into a button. And over here is the keyboard circuit, which is actually even smaller than our other keyboard here. And the buttons just attach to it via an RCA jack. And I've isolated six separate keys on the keyboard, which just plugs into the computer via USB. And as you can see, when each key is pressed, a different character is typed. 
Now you could simply use this as is, just in Word, just typing out the characters, or you could use something like Auto Hotkey, which could interpret the characters that it types and program it to do something else. So when someone types a button, it could say, type out their name. So this is just a really powerful way to make custom controllers. And I mean, I've seen keyboards at the dollar store, so you can do it incredibly cheap as well. And the fact that the board is so small makes it so easy to put it in pretty much any form factor that you want. And of course, it does take a bit of time to track down the keys, but it's well worth the effort. So for the rest of this video, I'm going to do just that. And then in a future video, we'll get it all wired up and test it out. am I doing? Now, yeah, this is how I did it the first time, and it's very hard and tedious to try and trace these with a marker. You can do it, but uh, why don't I just scan these in and do it on the computer? It'll be way faster, easier, and way more accurate. First typed out a list of all the keys that I wanted to find, and then I just assigned a unique color to each one to help identify them a bit easier. And then I located where they were on the keyboard. And after that, I was pretty much able to just use the paint bucket tool and just click on the line and it would trace it all the way back to the pins. Now in some spots, there was a bit of corrosion, so I had to go in and adjust it manually. But overall, it was super easy and only took about 15 minutes. Well, there we go. All of my keys are mapped out. It only took about 20 minutes and uh, you can actually end up with something pretty cool looking. So it's definitely a neat little byproduct of the process. Now again, like I said, in a future video, I'll get this all wired up and I'll figure out how I'm actually gonna make the miniature keyboard. I don't know if I'm just gonna take the real keyboard and just kind of chop up a section of it so it still looks like a keyboard with keyboard keys. More likely I'll probably just use some momentary switches or something similar. But uh, in the meantime, be sure to check out Ruloff Maker. He has some really cool and innovative ideas and projects. But my sincere thank you for watching. Once again, I am Nick D. Clements, if you're wondering. Nick is short for Nicholas, and the D stands for D. Anyway, I'm off to make something else. Cool. <laughs>